Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, really exciting one. We are doing a holiday makeup 2019. Where are they now video? So if you wanna see the makeup products that came out last year and if I still use them, if they're still in my collection, all of that good stuff, then just keep watching. <laughs> Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup items on the market. But today we are actually gonna go back in time to around this time last year. And I'm going to talk about some of the holiday makeup that came out last year. And we're gonna talk about what I think of them now, if they're still even in my collection. Today's video, I'm really excited because it is in collaboration with my friend, Jenna. She is Jenna Fraze here on YouTube. And I really wanted to collaborate with her on this video because I'm a huge holiday makeup fanatic. I love picking up all the sets. I love sharing them with you guys. I just think it's such a fun season for makeup and I know Jenna feels that way as well. So I think both her and I pick up a lot of things for the holiday season and I thought she would be the perfect person to collaborate with on this video. If you aren't subscribed to Jenna's channel, she does a lot of makeup reviews on high-end and luxury makeup specifically, which I know you guys love. I feel like in terms of her channel, she keeps everything very short and simple. She goes straight to the point. She's not afraid to share her opinion as well. Definitely a very trustworthy channel to follow and she just loves makeup. She has a great taste for makeup and her and I have been friends for quite some time here on this YouTube journey and I'm surprised we haven't collabed yet. So I thought this one would be a fun one to do with her. So I will make sure to link her channel down below and her video as well. So make sure you check it out because we might be talking about some different products, some of the same products. I'm really excited to watch her video. Make sure you go subscribe to her so let's get into it so I was going through my videos last year I didn't pick out every single holiday item that I purchased and honestly there were some things where it was really hard to decipher if it actually was a holiday release or just a release that happened to be during the time of holidays so I tried to pick out specific items that were very clearly part of a holiday collection or they were items that I just thought would be worth talking about so there are some that maybe weren't technically holiday but they came out in the time frame and I want to talk about them just as a blast from the past to remind you guys or there were some items that were parts of holiday sets that I didn't feel like talking about because I didn't have anything very interesting to say so let's get started we are going to go by brand I have some notes put up so if I'm looking over here that is why we are going to start off with Tarte's holiday sets so the first one I personally do not own anymore and I will tell you why so last year Tarte came out with the chrome for the holidays quad and I was really excited for this because I love those Tarte Chrome Pots. I think they are amazing and I spent a ton of money buying the full price individual items and that was before I've had them for a while. I've now discovered even though those are amazing foiled metallic on the lid, after they dry out just a little bit, they just explode everywhere. And the same thing happened with the small ones and I thought the small ones would be better because they were just in a little tiny container and they were perfect for my makeup kit. So I actually put them in my makeup kit for my glam clients who really wanted that metallic lid. Well, those exploded everywhere so I did end up just throwing those away so this did end up not really being worth my money they were great while I had them but they don't last so at this point I don't really recommend that product unless you're really going to use it every day because if you don't use it every day and it dries out then you just have to throw it away it doesn't have a very long lifespan so that is what happened with that the other chart collection that I picked up last year and they always come out with a ton of stuff you guys so I'm very picky if I pick up things from Tarte I'm not a big Tarte fan in general but I did pick up the nine ways to shine cheek wardrobe so they used to come out with Amazonian clay blush palettes which I really loved and these were the first year that they replaced those with this I think it just had gotten too repetitive for them and I was a little bit disappointed in that because I did like the palettes I like those for my makeup kit but I did end up picking these up last year and let me tell you guys taking a look at all of <laughs> these items this was one of my most used holiday sets last year and I still use it to this very day I think part of that has to do with the fact that they are like front and display in my makeup drawers so they're just easier to grab for but I love these guys now this is the one that I use the most they're just foldable and I just like this one because I think it's the best for my skin tone and you have bronzer blush and highlight so this one was my favorite one but I don't know you guys I'm so surprised that I grab for these as often as I do even when I bought these I was like oh my gosh I probably wasted my money but I was pleasantly surprised by this I really enjoyed these last year 
and taking a look at the holiday collection stuff they have out now I'm not really interested in anything but they do have this concept again so I actually did order that that's on its way so that is the one tart set that I actually am repeating buying and I'm very excited I hope it's just as good as this year's I wouldn't say these are amazing quality by any means but they're just really great colors they're so convenient and I'm even surprised at how much I love these and I use these I'm really excited that I'm getting these again and I don't know about the tart sets I really do feel like they compromise the quality to get cheaper values so that's why I don't ever really purchase their set but that is one set that I definitely purchased and will purchase again. So let's talk about Too Faced now. Again, Too Faced is another one of those brands that has a lot of sets where I do think the quality is compromised. I picked up a couple other things from their holiday collections last year, just like small here and there, and then a couple gifts as well. I also purchased like a mini mascara in holiday packaging as well, but that's just a mascara. So the big thing that they come out with every year is a tin palette. They always come out with little other ones that I think are horrible quality, but the tin ones, every year I want to get because I do feel like these are really great quality. So last year they came out with the gingerbread extra spicy. They had a gingerbread palette the year before and then they have one this year but let's take a look at last year's and this ended up being one of my favorite of the three gingerbread palettes. I think it is great quality. This one is made in the USA. The quality is really good. The colors are really wearable. Honestly it took me a while to buy this last year. I remember being very hesitant at first because I really didn't want another Too Faced palette but I ended up really loving the color story and the quality on this. I will say I haven't used it a ton in the last year just because of the amount of eyeshadow palettes that I've had, but I had a really good experience with this and they did come out with a new big tin one this year as well. I like the color story better and I did end up purchasing it, but I will be honest with you guys, I've been overwhelmed with makeup. I haven't even used that yet. Feel free to shame me. These are definitely the one item from the holiday collections from Too Faced that I recommend that are pretty much guaranteed to be good quality. I mean, I don't want to guarantee you who knows what they'll do next year but based on their typical patterns this is probably the best thing they come out with every holiday season and I really enjoyed last year's it stood the test of time really quickly before I forget I do have one thing from Fenty that I picked up from their holiday collection and I did not like their holiday collection last year I thought the stuff looked horrible and stuff that I would never use and it was on sale at Sephora for the longest time because they couldn't sell the stuff it was a bad holiday collection except for the flossy glossy set and the reason why I don't have it to share with you guys is because they are thrown in all of my purses around my room. That was probably one of the best holiday sets that I purchased. I love the Fenty glosses. I love how they're so tiny and best thing they have another set out this year that I do highly recommend. I just think it's a great value. I love that set. It's one of my favorites so highly recommend that one. One of my most used and I do also have that little mini gloss set on the way as well so keep an eye out for that. So that was definitely a repeat purchase. So let's move on to Benefit. So I did purchase one holiday set from Benefit that I thought was worth talking about. And this set's actually still available if you're interested, but this is called the Benefit Together at Lash Mascara Trio. And what it is, is three full-size mascaras for $38, which is a really great deal. So in it, there was a Bad Gal Bang Mascara, their Real Mascara, and a Roller Lash. I bought this a year ago and I still have one mascara left and I will never, ever, ever purchase a mascara set like that again. I think if you're a normal person and <laughs> you don't have a lot of mascara samples rolling around, maybe you could justify this because $38 is really great for full-size mascaras. But at the same time, when you purchase mascara, you want to make sure you love it. You don't know if you're going to love all three of these unless you do when you have tried. But if you don't love mascara, you're kind of stuck with the full size, you know? So for me, it just doesn't make sense to buy a set like this. And that was a mistake that I made. I wasn't particularly in love with any of the mascara either and I still haven't even opened their reel so I do regret purchasing this. It seemed like a good idea at the time to try out the Benefit mascaras but then I just felt tied down to having to use those mascaras and kind of regret that. Did not like that purchase. Okay so let's move on to ABH. I don't even remember really what their holiday collection was last year. I just think they released a lot of things around the time and I picked up two items that I do want to talk about and update you guys on because around the holidays last year the ABH Norvina fiasco happened. So if you don't recall, they released like, I think like three, four palettes in a very, very short span of time around the holidays that 
Carly Bible palette, I believe, was also in this little situation. I didn't pull that out to talk about because I really just wanted to talk about these. I was really excited about these last year's. I gave them glowing reviews. I think the quality on these are really great. So Norvina Volume 2 came out. This is a little bit more crazy. And then Norvina Volume 3 came out. And then the minis came out. And then Carly Bible came out. It was honestly just ridiculous. And I think this kind of single-handedly destroyed ABH people just got sick of them, money grabbing, all of that stuff. I really like these palettes. <laughs> I thought they were really good. Now, in the grand scheme of things, were these worth it? No. Do I use them? No. I don't use them at all. I don't think I've used them since I filmed all my, of my tutorials with these. I did do like three looks, one palette with each of these palettes. And like I said, I enjoyed the quality of these. I thought they were really great. I think they're really great to get a variety of colors in your collection, but I never use these. So in that way, no, these weren't worth it. But anyways, point being, the ABH holiday stuff is bleh. Like this year, I don't know if this is actually their official holiday collection, but it's like a mini soft glam palette. I'm sorry. That's horrible. What a horrible holiday collection. <sighs> Wow, I've just not been moved by ABH at all in the last year. I remember when they would come out with a holiday collection and it was just a really big deal. Prism palette, I can't remember the glittery palette. I don't know why it's escaping my mind right now, but those are big holiday releases. And last year, I think they tried to do it huge with all of these releases and it just failed. But like I said, these palettes are really good though. Like I, I plan on keeping them in my collection. I do enjoy them, but I never use them. All right, so let's talk about Bite Beauty. So Bite Beauty always comes out with some really great lip sets every year and everybody loves their lipsticks. I got these Amuse Bouge lipstick sets because everybody had talked about how great their lipsticks were. So I purchased these and literally right after that, they actually ended up taking everything out of their line and completely reformulated so that they were like cruelty free and stuff like that. So they no longer even even sell this formula at all. Though I did really love this lipstick set. I love the colors. They're so tiny and these did end up getting used a lot from me. Now I'm wearing Cocoa Bite right now. That being said, I have a lot of lip stuff so maybe these probably weren't used a ton. But for me, I grabbed for these quite a lot. I think they're a beautiful formula. They smell beautiful. And so yeah, this was one of the sets that I thought was a really good value that I did end up using a lot. Now taking a look at what they have now, they do have some lip holiday stuff out, but nothing in this formula. They have some crayon lip sets, so I can't speak on those if they're gonna be good or not, especially since they've completely reformulated and redone their brand. This was kind of the last thing that happened <laughs> before their rebranding, and it is a very, very nice formula, so I really did like that set. All right, you guys, so let's move on to <laughs> Laura Mercier. <sighs> This is where I'm gonna start shaming myself. The Laura Mercier holiday collection really caught my eye last year. I don't even really use Laura Mercier, but I was like, I want to get their collection. I got some big pieces from their collection last year. Now the first one, this one I think launched a little bit earlier. This is the Cheek Canvas Soft Cheek. So you have this packaging. I don't know why I was so attracted to it, but I was. I think it's because it's pink. And you have these cheek colors. Now this this was actually one of my favorite items that came out of holiday last year. I will admit, I haven't used it. I honestly kind of forgot about it. As soon as I was preparing for this video, I was like, oh yeah, like I really love this blush palette. This is a gorgeous cheek palette. Ah, they don't have anything out like this in their new collection and I wish they did because this is a phenomenal cheek palette. I loved it. This was a really great item and they don't really have a repeat of this this year, unfortunately, but this was a good one. Now let's talk about the items that I'm ashamed about that I purchased. So they had a couple palettes. So this first one is the Fine Art Eyeshadow Palette and it literally is just an APM palette of shimmery shadows that really don't give you any pigmentation. Now don't get me wrong, the colors in here are kind of pretty. Like I don't regret purchasing this, but I do regret purchasing both of these because this is the canvas, the full canvas eye and cheek essentials palette. So this is a big palette. So let me tell you everything that's wrong with this palette and then I'll get back to this palette. So when you open it, okay, it's double-sided. But the dumbest thing ever is it has this mirror that is not attached. If something happens, 
the corner of this can so easily stab the powders. There's nothing to secure it at all and nothing to attach it to. It just kind of sits there in the middle and that's so dumb. It's great to have a barrier between the two sides of powder, but this needs to be attached. And it's also annoying when you open it because you forget about this and it flies out and then scratches your eyeshadow. Very, very annoying. But anyways, on one side is eyeshadows, one side is cheek products really was attracted to this still am as i'm looking at it the last time i used this was the one time that i filmed a review last year have not touched this since haven't thought about it since i did actually end up using this guy today i used the eyeshadows i used the cheek products and i must say i enjoyed my experience with it i don't think the quality on this is amazing but nice stuff you can get some pretty looks the problem is these have the weird shimmer formula again and literally it's like the exact same colors that's in here. They're not pigmented enough to really differentiate from one another so I waste my money buying both of these because if you have this palette you have all of the colors in here so that's why I regretted purchasing this and I mean it's kind of unnecessary let's be real here. While I do still like this the packaging was really bad and I never reached for it and I really think this was quite pricey and I spent a lot of money on something that I literally never used. These are the reason why I probably will not be purchasing anything again from the Laura Mercier collection. Taking a look at their stuff now they have a palette like this again and guess what guess who was attracted to it me again and i wanted to get it and i was like morgan don't fall for the trap you have the one from last year and you've only used it once so that's how i'm not convincing myself to get it and they also have like a little mini guy just like they came out with last year and it looks gorgeous i saw it at nordstrom the other day and i was like <sighs> It also looks like something I'll never use. I think it's about the same importance as last year's. They do have a blush trio called the Standing Ovation Cheek Palette out this year. I might have to get that for this Sephora sale. And listen, learn from past mistakes, passing on the eyeshadow palette, passing on the big palettes. But I did love this quite a lot last year, so we'll see, we'll see. So I am attracted to that blush palette, but yeah, Laura Mercier was a mistake last year. Let's get into Dior. They had a few things out in their holiday collection that I didn't purchase. I feel like they have two different holiday collections. They have like their quaint collection and then they have these like cheap looking palettes. Like these things. I think these things just look awful. I didn't buy them last year. I'm not going to buy them this year. But their like more fancy collection is two quints or there's probably more but this is what I picked up last year. So this is the Happy 2020 collection. So this is technically like their new year collection. This one was celebrating gold. How pretty is that? And then the other one is party in colors. Again, gorgeous. Did I ever use them? No, they're not even in my makeup collection. They ended up in my mom's makeup collection. I really want to use them though. There's not anything wrong with these. I actually really did like these. I think they're really beautiful. I just think they got lost in the crowd and then once they ended up in my mom's possession, she ended up keeping them. I never thought about them. So I did not end up picking up the collection from this year though. I do believe Dior has reformulated so their stuff is even better. And the holiday collection this year, like it looks really nice. I definitely did do a double take but I I just don't think they're colors that I would reach for very often, especially considering um, I might make a repeat mistake. So I did pass on this year's collection because I didn't use last year's collection. <laughs> Let's move on to Natasha Denona. I'm only gonna talk about the Metropolis palette that came out last year. There also was like, like a gold collection, like a mini green gold palette and then the worst highlighter in the world. This shifted her brand, in my opinion. This was one of the best things she could have done with her brand. Formulation, top notch. She reduced her price, reduced the amount of product that you got. This completely changed her brand. And I really feel like her brand made a shift this year in the right direction. I've loved pretty much every product that she's come out with. And she's just done a really good job. And I think that this palette was pivotal for her. So that's that. Her holiday collection this year, I believe has not even really come out yet. She just had the mini Zendo palette. I just did a review and all that stuff, which I thought was meh. I do believe she's coming out with a big palette and I have high expectations because last year's holiday palette, game changer for sure. We'll also talk about Charlotte Tilbury. Now I didn't really purchase much from the holiday collection last year, just the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize. This was the palette that came out last year. Love it. One of her very best palettes that she's ever come out with. One of the best color stories.
Sephora's highly recommend. So obviously this is one of my favorite palettes ever. So of course, this is a holiday purchase that I do not regret making. She also came out with a Stone Rose palette last year that I passed on and I ended up deeply regretting it and I actually bought it. So it should be in an upcoming haul. <laughs> uh, this year's holiday collection, uh, I did pick up a few things. I picked up the, <sighs> listen, the quad, the palette of pops. I did end up picking that up. Mm, um, yeah. I like this palette though from last year better than this year's. So this is one of the holiday releases that was my most used. Absolutely loved it. Let's move into Miss Pat McGrath. She always has very grand, large holiday collections. Lots of mini palettes, I feel like that's a repeated pattern. I just did a video on the three quads that came out this year, but let's go into the ones that came out last year and have I used them, all of that stuff. Now I'm sure I did pick up some lip products, but we're really gonna talk about the fun stuff. So these were the first time she experimented with quads. So we have this quad. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a neutral one. This was my least favorite of the three, but it's also the most wearable. So high quality. Love this. Love that these are all of the Blitz Astro Formulas. This was a really banging holiday collection, you guys. Ugh, one of my favorites. Then we have Ritualistic Rose, I believe is what this one was called. Yes. This one, I mean, come on, so stunning. I wonder if you guys can still get these because this was a bomb.com holiday collection. And then my personal favorite as far as the Pat McGrath experience, getting a Pat McGrath look, the most unique. This one is Nocturnal Nirvana. I love the looks that I create with this one. And it's just a true Pat McGrath palette if you ask me. She's not playing around trying to throw in neutral colors for you neutral wearers. Like, no, she had to have a punchy palette for people who do like color who are Pat McGrath fans. So that's why this one is my favorite that came out last year. I do like her new palettes that came out this year, but I think these ones from last year are better. I really do. I like these color stories better. And I do like the mix of formulas in the palettes this year, but there's something about having an all Blitz Astral formula that really makes you feel like you're getting the biggest bang for your buck. Now let's talk about something from the holiday collection that has completely failed me. This is the highlighter cream. These came out in a couple colors and they all have this gorgeous packaging. Uh, let me open this. It's like a cream highlight in like a paint thingy. I never use this. It looks crazy. It's like a very strong, super fine, glittery highlight. It would look good all over the lid and that's how I justified this. I, I was like, oh, I could just wear this as an eyeshadow. When do I ever use individual products? on my eyelid. I'm always grabbing for palettes. These individual items never get used. So this has never gotten used with the exception of using it in my review. And that's about it. So that's very disappointing. And this was quite pricey for what it was in my opinion. All right, let's move on to Hourglass. Of course, Hourglass is known for their holiday collection. Last year, it was the Ghost Collection. So we have the Ambient Lighting Blush Quad in Ghost. Always, I feel like these blush palettes are underrated. Nobody purchases these. They're only worried about the big ones. But you guys, I love their blushes. Hourglass, in my opinion, has the best blush formula. So these get very used and abused by me. I don't use them a lot in my videos just because you can't get a hold of these anymore. Their products are actually limited edition for the holidays only. So I do love this blush quad from last year. They did come out with a quad this year, but it was like a repeat quad. I want a new blush palette from them. I hope they do that because since I'm such a blush lover from them, they need to come out with a new one. And then of course the Lighting Edit Ghost Palette. This one is not my favorite of the ambient palettes that they've come out with. The one from two years ago, two or three, whatever years ago was the best one. This one is just eh. In my opinion, I am wearing the bronzer today. And I mean, this palette is beautiful. It's because the quality of these are so good that it doesn't matter what colors they come out with. For me, it just, it's gonna work beautifully. But color wise, this wasn't my favorite curation. I do think the one this year is better than this past year's. They're all good though, but this one was not my favorite color. And then also in the collection, there were these two lipsticks that came out. I never use these, honestly. I forgot I even had these. These are my favorite, well, one of my favorite lipstick formulas. These are the Italian formula. I love how thin they feel. I hate this clear packaging though. I think it makes them look so cheap. If they just followed through with the silver top, it would have looked so much better. These are not colors that I go for. Well, yeah, they are. That's a pretty nude. I never use these. 
So this year, I didn't even bother buying the lip products for the holiday collection. First of all, because we're wearing masks. So I'm never wearing lip colors to begin with anyways. But second of all, I own so many lip products that I never buy the lip products that come in collections anymore because they just end up sitting in my makeup collection. Let's move on to a shameful brand. I have not purchased any of their current holiday collection, though I was eyeing them heavily in Nordstrom, but I've learned my lesson from last year. You guys know I love Bobbi Brown. I think it's um, a low-key brand that more people should hop on because they do have good stuff and I always purchase their holiday palettes and finally I've stopped because it's just ridiculous. So I bought two of their holiday palettes last year. So this first one is the Smoke and Metals eyeshadow palette. Look how beautiful this palette is. It is just a gorgeous cool toned palette. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's gorgeous. I've never used it. I gave it to my mom. It's in her collection and it doesn't look like she uses it either. I love this color story though and I think since cool tones weren't popular last year this was one of the few cool tone palettes to come out and I actually really want to use this now because I love these colors I think this would fare better this year now that cool tones are kind of like on everybody's mind a little bit more so but yeah these Bobbi Brown palettes never end up getting used by me and then this bigger one is the in a flash eyeshadow palette I mean look at this packaging how cool oh again Cool tone color story kind of looks the same as this one if anything i kind of like that smaller one better same deal with this don't use it ever haven't ever really touched it at all but i really love the colors like i see why i bought these you know i'm looking at them and if they were on sale this year i would have gotten them because they're really pretty but at the end of the day they aren't eyeshadow palettes that i grab for a lot i just have so many amazing palettes that i grab for over these what does their holiday collection even look like this year Bobby Brown Holiday 2020. Yeah, see, I saw their holiday collection in store and I wanted to get it. And then I was like, no, no. So yeah, their holiday collections really aren't that exciting, especially this year. It looks kind of bleh to me. Like these ones were better and I still didn't use them. So let's get to the final holiday collection that I feel like was worth talking about. And that's from Tom Ford. We of course have the Soleil Neige collection. I think it comes out with Soleil Neige every single year, just different colors. So last year it was three palettes. As of now, it's only one palette and I don't know if he's gonna come out with more. Let me show you the colors from last year. So we have Soleil Diver and this one is supposed to be very close to the one that came out this year, which is like Fire Rose or something. I did end up purchasing that. I just haven't used it yet. It just came in the mail. I will definitely have to compare these two, but yes, we have that one. And then there was Sole et Lune, which this one everybody went nuts over because it's very, very unique to the line. Just really very light snowy kind of colors. I really liked this one. I thought this one was very, very unique also. And then of course the original Sole Neige. They were all really bomb, to be honest. I think he did a really great job with the holiday collection last year. And I think it's kind of hard to top. He only has one quad out right now. And and it's gorgeous. I bought it. A lot of people think it's very similar to the quads that came out last year. And it definitely fits in with the collection. But I don't know how exactly close it is to Soleil Diver. I love these. This was a bomb collection from him. He did a really great job with his holiday collection. Didn't pick up any lip stuff last year. Not picking up any of the lip stuff. I do believe my mom picked up a lipstick from last year's collection. But all I can think of are the quads. And this was one of my favorite holiday collections last year. That's all I have for today's video. We've covered all of the holiday collections from last year that I wanted to talk about. Of course, there's so many holiday releases that come out every year. I can only cover so many, but you guys know, huge holiday makeup junkie. This is my favorite time of year. I come alive in this makeup season. I just love it. Beautiful packaging, great values can't get enough. So make sure you guys go check out Jenna's video. I know hers is going to be amazing and very entertaining as well. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!